I'm animating in Blender and I have keyframes from about 1 to 27 and my scene is starting at 1 and ending at 113. So when I play back my animation by hitting spacebar on my keyboard, it plays all frames all the way to 113. Whereas I only need it to go to 27 right now because that's what I need to watch again and again to check on my animation. And then I'll be adding some later on, but for now, I just want to play back 1 to 27 on loop. How do I do that? How do I limit the looping playback? Well, it's so easy, it's going to blow your mind. What you need to do is press the shortcut key, the letter P on your keyboard. That will give you this crosshairs. And now anywhere here, you can draw a box using this box select from whatever first frame you want to the last. So I can do this anywhere in this area, but it needs to start at the frame that I want to start at and end at the frame I'm ending at. So here we go. Let's just draw a box from 1 to 27. And to do that, you just left click on your mouse, hold down and drag. And then you'll get this area here where you have red outside of the selected area and everything looks normal inside. And if you push the spacebar key, everything within that non-red area will play. And that is so convenient, so easy. When you're animating, you'll drive yourself crazy watching the same thing over and over, but that's what you need to do. So now if I wanna limit this to maybe just this part of my animation, I can do that by again, pressing P and just drawing. And it doesn't matter if you draw your box down here versus up here, You, as long as you're starting at the right frame and ending at the right frame, it'll grab everything in that zone. And then press spacebar to play the animation. Yep, and I can watch my little pineapple jump all I want. Okay, so that's all great, but what, what, what do you do when you want everything back, when you want to play the full thing again? You can get rid of all of this red here by just pushing Alt P on your keyboard, and that will clear your limitations. So now you're back to where you started, and you can create um, some new playback loops if you want. Um, but yeah, this is it. I hope this helped you guys. Uh, this also works in the graph editor. So if you're moving around or even the dope sheet, so you'll find yourself using this quite a bit. And, um, thanks for watching this video. I have other stuff in Blender. If you found this helpful, I probably have some other stuff you'll like, and I appreciate you watching.